My name is Richard Butchins, and I'm a disabled artist and filmmaker. For the first time, I'm modelling in a life drawing class that caters specifically for visually impaired artists. In order to assist the students, I have been 3D scanned and then turned into a small statue, so artists are able to use touch as well as other senses to draw me. The small statues are given out to people so they can get a bit over familiar with my body. My name's Richard, I'm uh, making a documentary about the effect of visual impairment on art uh, and as part of it I decided to model for this class. Try a different material out, yeah. The classes are led by blind artist David Johnson. There's lots to choose from. It's not, it's not a big nose, it's not a small nose, it's kind of average in the middle. I've got two legs, two arms. One of my arms is well withered, permanently dislocated at the shoulder and uh, very thin, wasted, wasted and no muscles. Uh, the other arm's just a normal arm. Come and have a look, yeah. And I wanted to view his arm uh, closely because I can't see it. OK. Thank you. That's very interesting. Thank Bye. you. I'm going to see how Terry's getting on with his clay. Do you want me to organise a bit of wire for you? You could do, yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. just a length of, what, a couple of feet? Or no, 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 less than that. Less than that. I can hardly see you and I can hardly see the drawing. But somewhere deep down, <laughs> I'm absolutely impelled to keep drawing. So Why is that, then? Because it, that's part of But it looks like you, it's quite accurate. Then there's yeah. another one of me here. Yes, I've drawn and painted all my life. So your vision, when your vision changed, you just carried on drawing anyway? Yes, and only in the last few years have I not been able to see the model and the drawing at the same time. Is that frustrating or is there a sense of freedom Absolutely in that? Absolutely frustrating. <laughs> so, so frustrating. I mean, actually, that's, that's a pretty good life drawing. Yeah. It's a relief not to have to fit into the role the able bodies think we should play, so they feel comfortable with our disabilities. If these artists were sighted, they would deliberately impair their vision to draw me, closing one eye to measure me, squinting to see the shade. But for these artists, they don't need to see me to draw me. It's all about touch and feel and thought and what's going on in their minds. 